Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Cock, the one-two to McNichols. What? Found the belt. Here's a pitch. Here's the three-two. Hey, guys, this is Emerson Hancock, the number six overall pick, headed to the Seattle Mariners. Now, Emerson's a stud. He was one of the best pitchers in the country in 2019. Uh, out of Georgia, he features a 95 plus mile an hour fastball. Um, it's topped out at about 99, and right now we're just going to go over why he's so tough to face, especially at the college level. You don't see guys doing this too much. So if we get him through leg lift, and we're basically going to go right to foot plant. So if we get to foot plant here. We're going to see, A, let's talk about mechanics. Mechanically, he is a great mover, and he has a tremendous flexibility, tremendous athleticism on the mound, and it shows right here on the mound. So I know it's a little bit blurry, but bear with me. We see the belt is starting to open, right? His hips are starting to go. His toe is pointed towards the target. The femur is flipped and it's fully rotated. The shin is vertical, nice and strong. He has great flexibility, strength, and stability in his front leg right here. Just great, great athleticism. On top of those hips firing open, you can tell because of the belt, those shoulders are incredibly closed back, right? So we have, this is what hip to shoulder separation looks like. His shoulders are still parallel to the third base bag, or his chest is still parallel to the third base bag, and his hips are popped open, that front toe is open. So he has great flexibility in the hip joint, and you can really tell from this frame here. You see his throwing arm kind of sneaking back here, so he's getting some pretty good scap retraction, some great stretch from his throwing arm, and it's in a really good spot. Some guys, especially youth players, they get in a lot of trouble when they get into this frame when that front foot first comes down. Their arms are typically you know, between this frame and that, these two frames, where you see a lot of youth players. They try to come up too early in their delivery with their throwing arm, and a lot of that has to do with there's very little scap retraction going on with younger players. They just kind of go back with the arm, maybe point the ball towards second base, but everything is vertical with no real horizontal movement or impingement of the uh, of the scapula, which it's a great thing in terms of velocity because it really, like, stretches out the joints and the muscles and everything just kind of like explodes in a good way um, as you go forward and initiate rotation through the throwing zone. So this is a great frame. Now the second thing of this frame that I want to talk, talk about is the direction that he took. So if we go back to the lift, right, we're at parallel feet. His feet are basically parallel. He is on the left side of the rubber, if you were on the rubber looking at home plays on the left side of the rubber. As we go through our lift, his initial move actually goes a little bit towards the third base side, but he's able to control it because he's such a good athlete. His initial move drifts a little bit towards the third base side, third base dugout, and we land closed off, right? So we actually still see that back foot over here. He's angled slightly, ever so slightly, but slightly towards the third base line here at landing point. But you can tell that he has the flexibility and the athleticism to pull this off. This is something that I really wouldn't recommend a ton with youth players unless you've made the assessment as a coach to say that he is a good enough athlete. He has the flexibility, the strength, and stability to pull this off. Otherwise, keep it a little bit more cookie cutter. But this is a really tough spot, particularly if you are facing 95 plus, which is ridiculous, right? Because this ball is going to be coming across the zone a little bit. And he does a good job folding over that glove side so that the throwing arm can really come through without a severely elevated elevated elbow. And that's the one thing that you'll see with youth guys who may not have great athleticism is that if they do land this closed with that front side, you'll see that elbow really drift upwards uh, around this point. It, the elbow just flies over the shoulder, and he does a really nice job staying in that three-quarter slot 
uh, without the elbow drifting over the shoulder too much. And that's really going to put a lot of stress on the elbow. Um, it's going to put a lot of torques into the elbow. A lot of force has to go into the throwing arm to create enough energy to get around the zone so you can throw a strike. Otherwise, you would throw it in the third base dugout. That's why the arm wants to kind of detach from the body and really elevate in a vertical fashion when guys are closed off uh, this it's not severe severe is a bad word but when guys are closed off this severely really pay attention to how high their elbow is traveling and again this really goes back to the coach's um, knowledge and his ability to assess how athletic how well this athlete can move in order to start using some of these concepts because this is tough throwing from a closed off position a little bit across your body slightly across your body at 95 plus and to be able to throw a strike requires a really good athlete and you really see it on this frame how good of an athlete he is so i'm going to run this through so you can actually see the pitch you got a lefty hitter you see that he's really closed off so let's go back to the beginning you'll see have a good idea how difficult it is to really see his pitch with how closed off he is and he has the ability right to really still get to extension get out in front of this pitch and it adds a little bit of deception a little bit more deception into the delivery it's going to be really difficult for a lefty to pick up like forget it for a left-hander here um but even for a right-hander it's going to be really difficult for a righty to pick up now one big thing um just for any coaches or maybe young players that are watching this you know it goes goes through his delivery we're at pitch release and he's able to still follow through across the glove side hip without smashing up against the glove without smashing up against the quad so he is following through fairly safely pretty decent deceleration pattern um really good athlete uh i'm actually he might be the arm that i'm most excited to watch progress over the next couple of years because you know i don't obviously don't know him as a as a person or an athlete but just by the way that he moves on the mound he's got to be a supreme athlete he's going to be fun to watch um, kind of reminds me of a Michael Lorenzen. That's going to be my comp for him. Is Michael Lorenzen uh, not as not as big, um, but he's still he's still young. He's going to be able to get into the weight room. He's going to be able to get bigger, faster, stronger. So he's going to be a scary athlete moving forward. Uh, glad he's in the National League because I'm actually curious to see if he can hit. Hope you liked the video. Hope it brought you some sort of value. If it did, do me a favor, support the channel, smash that subscribe button, like, share, comment. I'll see everybody later.